Hey guys, can you guess where I am today? Staying the weekend here with my mom. Today is my oldest son's 18th birthday and as soon as she gets back from Sea Amber Farms where she volunteers, we're heading to Tampa to celebrate my firstborn becoming a man. Oh, it's a happy and a sad day. But anyway, while I'm waiting on that, I decided to come take a look at the updates mom has done to her chicken yard. She's had some issues with predators, and as I was walking out here, a giant hawk, giant hawk flew off. So I'm glad I came out here because I wouldn't have wanted something to happen to one of her chickens while she was gone because that would have broke her heart. I'm going to check out what she's done. I'm looking at something right now that she told me about and I thought I would show it to you guys also. Before she had all these chickens, there was grass and weeds in this area. And the chickens have done a great job of picking out <laughs> everything that they want. So she has decided to start growing seed behind this mesh netting here. And she's got this big space right here with lots of really beautiful greens that these chickens will get to harvest at some point. And she's got a little mushroom in there. I'll take you over and show you what she's had to do to try to deter these hawks because she lost, I think she said two of her guinea fowl. Jen before, my mom doesn't just do chickens to sell eggs. She doesn't eat her chickens. She does this simply for the love of chickens. She, hi girls, <laughs> loves her chickens. They're probably gonna be scared of me because they're scared of black. The color black really freaks them out. Night pretties. Here is one thing that she's started doing. Look, she's got some fake owls up there. She's got CDs hanging. She's got this reflective tape hanging. She's got fishing line and deer netting all over this place. She ran out right here and she's bringing it down so that the hawks can't come from out there. I'm not sure if she's gonna get plastic netting or plastic for this or if she's gonna use some kind of netting, but she's got two hoop houses here that she's just set up recently. Out here there is none of that netting, but there is this um, green fishing wire, which she thought was helping and then she had another incident. So that's why she's working on all, putting up all this netting. So like I said, she loves her chickens. She gets very attached to all of them and then gets pretty, pretty upset when anything happens to any of them. Hi, handsome. A little bantam right there. Little tiny bantam chicky. She's also planting lots of trees out here. Lots of different kinds of, I'm not sure what all these are, but I'm sure whatever they are, they're all um, chicken friendly because she wouldn't want to do anything to hurt the, her babies. Gosh, you guys are so pretty. Look at that coloring. Look at that. Hi. Wow. It's like red and green, like Christmas colored chickens. Everybody hiding out in the bamboo. Is everybody enjoying the cooler weather? I just love this little bamboo area. They do too, don't you girls? Yeah. A little hideout. It is cold. At least here in Florida, this is what we consider cold. It's been pretty rainy, drizzly. It's another loquat. Can't wait till those bloom, or fruit, I mean. Pretty cold here for us. And this penny jacket is really coming in handy. <laughs> so I thought I'd just take a walk around Mom's property, see what's going on. Got a couple hours till she gets back and we head out. 
Oh man, I tell you, every every time I come here, it just does my soul so much good. So much good to be out here. I can't wait till we move. So excited for the future, which is something I haven't been able to say in a long time. I have a question for you guys. Ooh, what is that? First, I've got to show you this. This looks like, like coral, only on land. It's pretty cool. Okay, so my question for all of you is, one, do you consider yourself a hugger? And I, I guess when I ask that, I'm not saying, are you just someone that like hugs people? Hello, goodbye, nice to meet you, you know, give hugs out like that. Are you someone who needs hugs? Physical touch, I guess. I may have touched on this before, but I, I am. I'm a person who needs physical touch very much. Eric is not. It doesn't really do anything for him. For me, a hug is like medicine. I guess my second question is, have you ever had a hug that it actually really truly made you feel better and the reason i'm asking you this is because i woke up today feeling a little anxious as the day went on you know i got i got up pretty early to head here to gainesville to my mom's <clears throat> felt a little anxious but as the day went on it was getting progressively worse and even further into the day I started to get a pit in my stomach, just like, I was not, it wasn't good. And I, I don't want to feel like that today, because today, like I said, it's my son's birthday, and we're going to be celebrating, and I want to be in a good mood, and I want to be able to connect with him, and really enjoy spending time with him. I was telling my pops this, and we had to run up to the bank to get some papers notarized, and... As we're standing there waiting for the lady to come talk to us, without a word, he just wraps his arms around me and he gives me a hug. And it wasn't just a hug. He held on to me for a few moments, you know. It wasn't just a wrap your arm around, little squeeze, then it's over. It was a hug that meant something. And as he's hugging me, I feel the the pit, the ball of anxiety in my stomach loosen and disperse out of my stomach. Like, I know I'm going to sound like a crazy person here, but for those of you who are like me, maybe you know exactly what I'm talking about. When you hug somebody and you truly mean it, there's like this energy that flows from one person to the other. And it can be such a powerful thing. And I'm so, I feel so blessed to be, not only to be someone who can experience that, but to be in a family <laughs> that is able to experience this with me. They're able to do that for me. I didn't ask for a hug. I didn't say, I feel like I need a hug. I didn't give any indication but my pops did it anyway and it was real and it was genuine and it was healing and I don't feel anxious anymore I spent hours today feeling anxious and down and from one seemingly simple hug he changed my whole day that's the power of physical touch that's the power of really connecting and that's one of the reasons I am so excited to be closer to my family. Now I'm just finding these everywhere. Look at that. Look at it. I hope somebody knows what this is because I've never seen this before. And it is so cool. It's a little nerve-wracking to be out here in the woods right now. Knowing that it's hunting season. Or I think it's hunting season pretty sure it's hunting season and I'm not wearing any kind of uh, 
clothing that I should be wearing for this time of year. To be walking out into the woods, it's a little... <laughs> I get a little worried, I ain't gonna lie. Haven't heard any gunshots, so hopefully I'm okay. I wanna walk for, I like, I wanna go all out into these woods. I really do. I wanna explore everything out here, but I'm trying to stay on my mom's property and uh, in, you know, good view so people know that I'm not a deer. I'm taking a bit of a risk here. This is not my mom's property. However, we do know the guy who owns this property, or she does. But I know that there's supposed to be a creek back here. And I really want to see it, so. Fingers crossed. Nobody is out hunting and gets trigger happy. That's huge. Yeah, I'm not... Oh, man, I see some massive mushrooms down there, too. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this. The last time we were down here, me and Gage walked through the woods at another location while Eric was fishing. And I came home with four ticks on me. And one of them still itches a lot. Look at that. That is so cool. Why am I fascinated with mushrooms? I don't eat them. I just want to see them. This is... I mean... When I was a kid, I was always, always in the woods. If I was not in school, or grounded, <laughs> I was in the woods. But now that I'm older, I get scared. Not sure what these are. They look like oyster shell mushrooms. Oh, that's a good picture. That's a good picture. Looks like I'm in the jungle. If Eric was here, he'd be telling me to get my butt out of the woods. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Look at them. Look. Look at it. Tell me that isn't magical. Okay. As much as I want to keep going deeper and deeper into the woods, I think it's in my best interest to get out of the woods <laughs> before someone or something finds me and is not pleased with me being in their territory. Hopefully, I remember how to get out of here. Whew. So, no creek, but lots of beautiful, unique, interesting little finds out here. And this guy, I thought he was going to let me pick him up. Um, he's... He's not alive anymore. I'm not sure what happened to him. Oh, but he's gone. Poor thing. These things. Ooh. Are these poof balls? I know some of them are edible. Not that I would ever try. I think that one poofed. Next time I see you, we'll be at my son's birthday party. Everybody be sure to wish him a happy birthday down in the comments so he can see it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Matthew. Happy birthday to you.
wedge. Who did that? Paul. Oh, 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 I didn't. None of us did. None of us did. It was magic. I wish I had one little sister.